Howdy, thank you for watching. This is going to be a quick guide to the updated and drastically improved Gamora. When they did the beta test for She-Hulk and Spider-Gwen, Kabam did not mention that they would be upgrading Gamora as well. It came out shortly before the update, they kind of snuck it in there and boy she got quite a boost. Now in the spirit of this being a quick guide, what you basically need to know is that it's possible for Gamora to stack fury and cruelty buffs and keep refreshing them over and over. You have a 30% chance to gain a buff from normal attacks, uh, light attacks can give you the fury buffs and medium attacks will give you the cruelty buffs. Uh, and landing a heavy attack will refresh all of those buffs. This is important because otherwise the buffs will expire after a while. The second major upgrade is to her awakened ability. First off, the massive damage multiplier only applies to special one now, but after a cooldown, it can be reused. Very cool. Uh, as well, specials two and three have uh, other debuff effects, um, armor break and shock. Even if she is unawakened, there is still some pretty cool stuff. Specifically, specials 1 and 2 are guaranteed critical hits. Pretty nasty if you've got some of those Furies and Cruelty stack. And when you need help with those pesky auto blockers, you can reel off Gamora's special 3 for an 11 second true strike buff. Watch this for some of the raw damage in these fights that my unawakened 6 star can do. Also, look and see how you need to refresh those buffs with heavy attacks. And lastly, I'm not going to dive into synergies for this video, but look them up. You'll find that they make her new mechanics work better, faster, and last longer. I'm going to leave you with the rest of this fight. Uh, enjoy, and thank you very much for watching. And do subscribe to catch new videos when they come out. See you next time. Bye.